Hey friends, thanks for watching. Today I am sharing three recipes that use the same five ingredients. I hope that this video helps you to meal plan easier and have less waste. I know that is something I have been working on a lot lately. Today's video is also a collaboration with Marissa. Her channel over here on YouTube is called Homemaking with Marissa. She makes so much content, you guys. Tons of cleaning and cooking videos, so definitely go check her out. I will have her channel linked in my description box. And if you're here for Marissa's channel, hi and welcome. Please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe before you go. Now let's get cooking. The five ingredients that I'm going to use for all three of these recipes are chicken breast, chicken broth, rice, onion, and garlic salt. So for this first recipe, which is going to be a baked chicken with squash and zucchini, I am making a marinade here for my chicken breast using olive oil, some lemon juice, the garlic salt, and pepper. You could also use other spices if you wanted to. And the lemon juice is actually going to help because I'm going to add lemons to the top of the chicken, which you will see in just a little bit. But I also need, in addition to those five ingredients, the squash and the zucchini. So I did one zucchini and one yellow squash. And the rice that I'm using for all of these recipes is going to be the boil in a bag rice because it makes for such an easy cleanup because you don't have rice sticking to the bottom of your pot. So here I'm just starting by slicing up all of my vegetables that I need for this dish. We have come all this way, love. So I don't see a stop. Life's an adventure For this recipe, I am using the chicken broth in the bottom of my casserole dish. You could use any size depending on how big or how small you were making this recipe, but a little bit of liquid at the bottom will just help the chicken to bake and not dry out. So once I had marinated those chicken breasts for a few hours, I took them out and put them in the chicken broth and then went ahead and seasoned them with a few other seasonings. Here I'm using thyme and then putting the sliced lemons on top before popping it into the oven. Um, for this particular dish, I decided to do a lower temperature and a longer time. You could also do a higher temperature and a shorter time depending on um, how many chicken breasts you have. And while that was cooking, I went ahead and started to boil my rice. And I love this boil in a bag rice, you guys. I'm telling you, if you have never used it before, you should totally try it. And then I'm going to saute my vegetables by putting a little bit of butter here in the pan and letting that heat up. And then I'm gonna throw in those veggies. Once the rice was done boiling, you can see just how easy it is to pour the amount that you need into your dish. And here, this was the perfect amount for two with a little bit of leftovers. And then I'm going to put my veggies on top of the rice next. And then I'm going to slice my chicken and put those slices of chicken on top of that. This is such a healthy meal. Other than the fact that you're cooking with white rice, all of this is baked and totally healthy and it was super delicious. Meal number two is a really delicious stir fry, which I am using chicken and shrimp for this recipe. But of course, if you just wanted to stick to the five ingredients, you could just do the chicken. 
and I am using whatever vegetables I have in my house plus that onion. So on this occasion, I had some bell pepper, some broccoli, some snap peas, and then all of these ingredients I'm using to make my sauce. But of course, you could just buy a teriyaki sauce or a ready-made sauce, but I like to make mine homemade with a bunch of different ingredients and a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up. So you'll see in just a little bit when I actually go through the steps to make that sauce, it is super sweet and tangy and absolutely delicious. veggies are cut up then I'm going to move on to cutting the chicken breasts I wanted to make sure that I cut these into small enough bite-sized pieces that way that they would cook thoroughly really quickly but also that we didn't have to cut them too much once we plated our food and then like I said I'm also using on this particular evening shrimp as well so I'm going to start peeling the shrimp but of course if you didn't have shrimp or you don't like shrimp you can always just do chicken um, and it tastes just the same sauce that I'm making for this recipe doesn't have exact measurements, but I will do my best to tell you what I did here. So I'm starting with soy sauce, maybe about a quarter of a cup is going into the bowl first. Then I'm going to do about a teaspoon or two of some sesame oil, a couple of tablespoons of honey just for a little bit of sweetness, about two tablespoons of ketchup because the vinegar in that is perfect, about a tablespoon of minced garlic and a tablespoon of minced ginger. Of course, you can do all of this to taste or leave some of it out. And then I'm gonna use the cornstarch, just a couple of tablespoons just to thicken it up a little bit. And I didn't show it on camera here, but this is where I use the chicken broth. It just helps to stretch the sauce a little bit further. And then I'm going to pour about half of it onto my chicken and shrimp, let it marinate. You could do this overnight if you wanted to. And then I'm going to get started heating up the pan for those veggies. And on the left there, I already have my rice in the pot ready to boil. I'm also adding to those other veggies that I cut up, these sugar snap peas. And these are the steam in a bag ones. So I just pop those into the microwave to cook while I get the other veggies going. And then I'm gonna add everything into my pan. Once the veggies are done cooking, then I just pour the chicken and the shrimp directly into the pan and let it cook for a little bit. You could also put the lid on if you wanted to steam it a little more. And then once it has cooked for a few minutes, I'm going to add the remaining sauce, give it time to heat up and get a little bit thicker. And this does not take very long to cook at all, especially if you use already pre-cooked shrimp or if you have cut your chicken into small bits like I did, then it really only takes a few minutes to cook all the way through. And then here I'm doing the same thing I did with my other dish, putting the rice in the bottom. And I also have an extra container for leftovers so that way it is just really easy to reheat. And then I'm portioning out everything that we are going to eat, putting the rest in my leftover container. And that is it for this recipe. It was super simple and easy. You could use whatever ingredients that you have on hand and make it to taste the way you like it. Definitely recommend this one. The third dish I'm sharing with you are crock pot burrito bowls, and I'm a huge fan of crock pot meals. I love these slow cooker liners. They are a really amazing thing. If you don't like to clean out your crock pot, you just take the whole bag out and throw it away. And we're gonna start by putting the chicken broth in the bottom to then again help those chicken breasts to not dry out as they are cooking. You could put them in frozen, or I put mine fully thawed um, here into the bottom of the crock pot. I'm going to add my rotel. These are the diced tomatoes and the green chilies. I get the mild kind. Of course, you could always get them spicy. Here. I'm gonna also do a can of black beans. I drain them, but I did not rinse them. 
And then I'm going to cut up my onion here, and this is the last thing that I'm going to add besides spices. And then I will add corn later, but I don't add corn for the beginning of the cooking process just because it doesn't take that long to cook. Once I added all the spices that I wanted, I just gave everything a quick stir, put the lid on the crock pot, and set the timer for five hours on low. You could also do it on high for less time. And then once everything had fully cooked through, I went ahead and added the corn in. I used frozen corn, but you could also use canned corn for this. Just make sure you drain it first. And then I take two forks and shred the chicken really well, and then I'm going to cook it after I shred it for a little bit longer just to make sure all the flavors have gone all the way through. I'm setting my water to boil on my rice and then we're moving on to some of our other side dishes so on this night we decided to do refried beans so I'm using a can of refried beans add a little bit of water to thin it out microwave it or cook it on the stovetop and this is what it should look like when you are done they are super delicious just like you would get in the restaurant and then for the rice, I'm gonna amp it up a little bit. Since this is Mexican food, I'm gonna do a cilantro lime rice. So here I'm just chopping up all of my cilantro. I'm gonna add that to the cooked rice with a little bit of lime juice, maybe about two tablespoons. You could always add more or less depending on how you like the taste. And this is the absolute staple when I eat Mexican food. The cilantro lime rice is delicious. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start plating my tacos. So I'm gonna take all of that chicken and stuff that has been cooked, put it on top of my tacos. We also made a homemade white sauce. If you are not from Virginia and you don't know what white sauce is, you are totally missing out. This was such a good addition to these tacos. A little shredded cheese, you could do shredded lettuce, you could add salsa, whatever kind of taco toppings that you like. And then I'm gonna put my rice and my beans on the side and this is what it looked like when it was done. Super good, not the healthiest, but super delicious. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Make sure you go check out Marissa's channel and I will see you guys again in a brand new video. Bye guys.